Okay, so I realize that a lot of you are working really hard to lose weight, and I love that. That's why a lot of you bought Fast Like a Girl, you've come to fasting, like you're, that's your, your motivation. And you know what I always say when it comes to fasting is that if you came to fasting to lose weight, stay for all the other health benefits because there's so many. But when we look at belly fat, one of the challenges is that there are five things that 99% of the world is doing that is actually not helping them lose body fat. In fact, it's just making them crazy in their mind. So let's make sure you don't do these five things. Are you ready? Here we go, let's dive in. Belly fat, all, all fat is is excess something. It's either excess sugar from your blood sugar going up and down too many times from the quality of the foods you eat. It's excess hormones from like estrogen mimickers and cortisol is a hormone. So, and I'll talk about cortisol in a minute. So I, you know, I'll be I'm really authentic and, and honest with you. Every once in a while I get some belly fat, 53 years old and I'll go look in the mirror and be like, whoa, 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 wait, what's going on? All of a sudden, like I, I can see that a little accumulation of fat happened there and my brain goes to, okay, what are your stress levels like, Mindy? Has stress gotten out of control? Um, so, but I do ask myself maybe, have I been doing too many carbs? So. When we look in the mirror and we don't like that belly fat, can we just stop saying mean things to ourselves and we can start looking at the possibility that it's just excess? Something in our life got us got off track and then we just need to address it now. So that's the mentality I want you to take when you're coming after the belly fat. I wanna stop the shaming, I wanna stop the guilty, and I wanna stop the harsh things you say to yourself. I want you to look in the mirror and love yourself. I want you to love living in this body. So there, these are the five things that are never, ever, ever gonna help you lose belly fat. So let's stop them, ready? Number one, counting calories. Counting calories and losing belly fat, they have nothing to do with each other. Fast like a girl, I went through calorie counting for you. I talked about, I did the failed failed five in the first chapter, and the number one thing that I, and I say in there, I wish I could erase this from your brain. The number one thing I want you to erase is that counting calories will make you lose weight, and if you think counting calories are gonna make you lose belly fat, you are wrong. It's exhausting, like get off there. Get away from, from counting calories. So you're better counting blood sugar. If you're like, okay, well, what do I count? And I, and I get it, like, you count your blood sugar. Get a glucose monitor, start looking at how your blood sugar is going up and down according to the foods you eat. That's more important for belly fat than your calorie count. Number two, stop eating the toxic diet foods. This includes your favorite diet soda that's packed with NutraSweet, artificial coloring and chemicals. Stop it. You think you're helping yourself, but you're actually many times doing the opposite. So one part I will actually throw in, I, I, I should have said this in the, in the beginning, another excess that gets stored in belly fat are toxic. So NutraSweet is a toxin. Many of the diet foods have to put chemicals in there to try to brighten up the taste. Those diet foods, actually, when we eat them over and over and over and over again, they get stored as belly fat. So stop doing the diet foods. Now, I'm not saying like, you know, if it's if it's a diet Coke, I'm not saying switch to Cokes, but switch to sparkling water, switch to like a mineral water or, or, some, or some kind of tea or something. But it's the chemicals that we have to put in diet food to somehow enhance the taste that is turning to belly fat. Okay, number three, stop sitting still when stress hits. Too many of you, when stress hits, you go onto the couch, you sit down, call a friend and bitch about it. Best thing to do when stress hits is move your body. Cortisol is a hormone that was made to make you move. But when we're sitting at home and we on our phone and we see somebody on Instagram do something that, and we start to get FOMO or we get on Instagram, we're like, that person's more beautiful than me. Pairing ourselves to somebody else's highlight reel, stressing ourselves out and we're sitting on the couch creating this cortisol surge, that's going to belly fat. Put the phone down, put the shoes on, put your sneakers on and go for a walk. If you're like, ah, it's nighttime, I don't wanna go outside, then do squats, air squats, just up and down, up and down. But you stop sitting when stressful events happen, move your body. That's gonna help with the cortisol that accumulates around the belly. Okay, number four, 
And this is for my fasters, because I know a lot of you struggle with this, including me, I've had to get really resourceful, which is stop limiting your vegetables. Your grandma, your mother was right. Your vegetables are important for a variety of reasons, but specifically they help feed a set of bacteria in our gut. Both men and women are getting estrogen mimickers everywhere. We're breathing them in from our perfumes. They're in um, our pesticides sprayed on our vegetables. They're in our commercial meats. They're everywhere. And so if we are accumulating this estrogen, your body's going to store it as fat. And we need to make sure that we're constantly feeding the bacteria in our gut that's going to break that estrogen down. So leafy greens, lots and lots of leafy greens, especially for my perimenopausal and menopausal women, lots of leafy greens. Number five, you are not sweating. Sweating is how we get toxins out of our body. So make sure you are sweating every single day. This can be through a sauna. This can be through movement, but we've got to be sweating on a regular basis. Just like we've got to be eating our leafy greens, just like we have to be moving. These things are, are innate to the human body. And when we stop and we think about like, okay, let's think about something like belly fat. I don't know. I'm thinking I was born in 1969 and I'm doing this video in 2023. I, I go and I look around and I see a lot more people out there who have gained weight than I did back in the 70s. We have a lot more people in 2023 that are dealing with obesity than back in the 1970s and 80s when I was growing up. Okay, so what, what changed in that time period? Well, more toxins in our environment, more stress in because of a variety of things. And we're not, we are at an evolutionary mismatch where we are not matching our, our behaviors to this modern world. So the modern world is taking over and it's destroying the human body. And one of the ways that we know it's destroying the human body is because people are becoming more and more obese because we are not doing simple things like moving, sweating, breathing is even a way to detox, eating our vegetables, eating things like protein, fasting. These are, are tried and true foundational things that we've got to bring back. Okay, I gotta interrupt this video because I have a free guide for you so you can master fasting. It's called A Beginner's Guide to a Fasting Lifestyle. And all you've gotta do is click here and you can jump right in. I hope that relieves you of the fact that you're like, oh, I've done diet after diet after diet and just not working. We have to come back to these foundational ideas. And when I look at why 99% of the people are not losing belly fat, it's because they forgot to get the memo that the world they're living in is no, out of alignment with the human body they're living in. And we've got to start to make our outside world match what our inside world is asking. So as always, I hope that helps. I am gonna ask that you put in the comments that you put how much weight you've lost. And I'm also gonna add one other thing to this because, but don't, don't click off yet. I've done a lot of videos on belly fat. I'm, I know this is a big one that so many of you are, are dealing with. So if there's one of the tips or tricks that, I, that I've given you that is working, put it in the comment. Now, if you're new to my videos, go look in those comments. We've got a lot of experts that watch this, this channel. So go and look there because there may be something I missed, but I'm giving you the five that you absolutely need to start with. And then let's let the community chime in on what they're doing to help lose weight. This is what are you doing with your lifestyle? Please, this is not an invitation to promote products or anything like that. I just want us to gather our brains together so that we all can win at the game of health. So on the next video I have, it's called Do This Before You Sleep to avoid belly fat. And there's habits you wanna do the night before and there's habits you wanna do in the morning and all of those make a big difference. Make sure your room is cool. If our mattress is cool, if the room is cool, it activates the parasympathetic nervous system. This is a little bit like cold plunges.